All right, you guys, let's get started on the meal prep. So the first recipe I'm going to show you is apple pie overnight oats. You guys know I personally do intermittent fasting, so I like to make this breakfast food, but I eat it later in the day. I usually start eating my meals around like 1 or 1.30, but if you have to wake up super early for work or something, or you just love having your oatmeal or any type of breakfast early in the morning, this will be great for you to just grab and go if you're in a rush. I'm just showing you here the basic ingredients that we need. I did some cinnamon, Walden Farms pancake syrup, some apples, you can do strawberries, watermelon, fruit of your choice, even frozen grapes would be good. Um, you could do shredded almonds. You're also gonna need oats, of course. I'm just using the Quaker oats that I got from Albertsons, this huge tub there. Um, but yeah, you could use like flavored oats, steel cut oats, pretty much anything that you want. Um, you also don't have to use the Walden Farms syrup. You could use like Maple Jane or whatever that other brand is or like pretty much anything. This is super customizable. Um, because I am trying to be as vegan as possible, um, not 100% perfect, but I'm definitely still really giving it a really good effort. I'm just having non-dairy milk, so I'm using the Almond Breeze 30 calorie per cup, the blue one on the right side, but the other one I found at the store, I wanted to give you guys two different options, um, but use whatever you want. You could also use water. If you don't, if you have like lower calories or you're on like a prep or something and you don't have extra calories, um, you could always just do your oatmeal with water. Sometimes I just do that as well, but anywho, chopping up a bunch of the apples here super easy again very customizable you can do any fruit that you want I ended up adding a few strawberries in as well I'm basically just gonna be making three of them just because I'm the only adult I live with and I don't want anything to ever go bad so you guys can totally double up this recipe for as many people are in your family what you want to do is for every half a cup of oats you're gonna do double the ratio of the non-dairy milk so I'm doing half a cup of Quaker oats in each of these little mason jars and then I'm gonna do one full cup of the almond breeze milk in each one as well to fully coat the oats and then we're gonna keep this in the fridge overnight and all the oats and all of the nutrients and the flavor is gonna seep into the milk and they're gonna expand so when you wake up pretty much the whole cup is like filled with oats that are like really fluffy and it's really good. Um, it does take about 8 to 12 hours for them all to soak in. So I like to make this at night. And then like after I made this meal prep video, I had one of them the very next morning. Um, just again, because I don't want anything to go bad. So half a cup of oats in each mason jar and then one full cup of non-dairy milk to cover them. Again, you can use water if you'd like. I'm choosing to season mine with cinnamon here. This is just plain ground cinnamon. Um, just kind of mixing everything up. And then I believe I showed a clip of honey here in a second and some semi-sweet chocolate chips. If you have extra macros or a little bit higher calories, um, you could put some honey in there. I personally chose to skip the honey, um, but I wanted to give you guys a bunch of options on flavor to just make these as tasty as possible. Um, the cinnamon and also the apples here, though, make it really taste like apple pie. Like, I just think it's really good together. I had a few extra strawberries in the fridge, so I just popped those on top. And then I believe I put some of the pancake syrup in. This is zero calorie syrup from Walden Farms. You can find it at Albertsons. I personally think the taste is great, even for no calories. It's not like chemically or anything. It's actually really good. Um, put some extra cinnamon on top, and that was pretty much it. So again, this is good for the next three days for me. Uh, because I do start eating around like 1 or 2 p.m. I still like to have breakfast foods in my routine, so I'll just like take one of these on the go. I'm actually going to L.A. tomorrow morning, so I'll just take one out the fridge and good to go. Like super, super easy. Uh, moving on to the second lunch meal for the week, I was just filling up my rice cooker with brown rice. Again, it's a two to one ratio. This is the huge um, bag of rice that I got from Costco. It's the short grain brown rice. You can use white rice, jasmine, literally any kind you want. It's very customizable. Again, I'm doing one and a half cups of dry rice and three cups of water. So it's the same like 50% ratio. With this aroma rice cooker, you just turn it on and hit brown rice and you're done. It's really easy. What we're doing here is we're going to basically make a Mexican rice bowl for the week. And let me just say, these turned out absolutely amazing. I can't believe I haven't made this before because it's so, so easy. A lot of you are saying you want to see more spices and more flavor in my videos because some of my previous meal preps were a little bit bland. So this one tasted so good. It was amazing. Basically, I just drained some black beans and some corn tomato and avocado as much as you want be sure to spill it on the side like me because I'm five um, we're just mixing everything up together basically and we're just doing like a Mexican bowl so I'm adding some garlic powder um, some pink Himalayan sea salt I'm gonna add some salsa some taco seasoning we're basically doing like a burrito without the tortilla so we're doing like burrito bowl prep Mexican burrito bowl prep for the week so I added some of this taco seasoning in oh my god just looking at this it looks so bomb. Um, adding a little bit of this mild, um, what's it called? Mild uh, salsa, cilantro, of course, because 
high, tastes amazing. I'm not really good on spices though, so I just do a little bit. And then you want to mix everything together and you want to be looking basically like the inside of a bomb ass Mexican burrito. All right, so just mixing that up and you can add more spices or less, as much flavor as you really want. We're just waiting for all the rice to be done. And then we're just going to portion it out into six equal portions. I'm just getting a snack ready for the week. Again, nothing fancy here. Very easy. I personally just love celery and I love carrot sticks. I'm going to mix it with some of the Bolt House Farms creamy Caesar dressing, which has a yogurt base. So it has really, really good macros. It's 45 calories for every two tablespoons. So I was just making three little like snack bags here on the go. Um, again, you can use any type of vegetables that you have, like broccoli or just anything else that you like throughout the week. I personally always also like um, dill pickles, which are no calories and they're like 95% water. So it's a really good diuretic to help you just pee out all the excess water throughout the day. So once the brown rice was done, it takes 45 minutes in the aroma rice cooker. I'm just adding all of it into the bowl. Totally should have got a bigger bowl here because I was struggling a little to not make everything uh, fall out, but you're just going to mix everything together. We're basically just making burrito bowls. And a lot of you ask, how do you know what the macros are per bowl when you just basically dump all the calories into there? So I used a full can of corn, full can of black beans, the tomato, the avocado. You basically add up the calories for everything. And then you have a total, I believe the total is like 1800 or something. And then you divide it by six because we're going to portion it out into six different meals. So each meal prep of this Mexican like burrito bowl was 300 calories each. Um, the exact protein carbon fat I can leave in the description, but I know offhand that each actual like meal prep container here evens out to 300 calories, which is cool. So you just add up all the macros for each ingredients and then just divide it by however many preps you're making. So this is going to be my lunch for the next six days. Um, I went through and added a little bit more here at the end because I had some extra left in the bowl and you can just have this with, of course, your drink of choice. I'm just doing water lately because I'm going to cut some veggies on the side or some pickles or whatever you choose, whatever you have the macronutrients in your plan for. Um, but yeah, I found that this was a really good ratio of protein, carb, and fat. We do get a lot of protein from the beans and then the carbs from the rice. Got the tomato, healthy fats in there with the avocado. This honestly tasted so good. I've done so many meal prep videos and I can't believe I've never made this. Like it was, I don't know. I personally thought it was amazing. So we have the oats for the morning. That's my lunch. Um, the veggies right there are going to be my snack. And then for my dinner meal prep, um, I was cutting up some sweet potato here or some yams, whatever you want to call them. I just got the pre-cut ones from Albertsons. But I wanted to chop them up a bit smaller so they all cooked at the same, like so they were all done at the same time and nothing got burned. So I was just cutting them up a bit smaller. Um, and then I believe I just used ground cinnamon on these as well. Yeah, to season. If you guys have any other recommendations on flavor for yams, let me know. I just usually do cinnamon. They taste pretty good. You want to put the oven on 425 degrees for these for a solid 40 minutes. Those actually take a really long time to cook. And then for the protein, we're going to be doing extra firm tofu. Again, I found at Albertsons for like $3. Kikkaman low sodium soy sauce. I know a lot of you have told me to try the liquid aminos from Bragg's instead of the soy sauce. I've been on the hunt for those and I can't really find it. So the tofu takes only 10 minutes in the pan and then I'm portioning out into three different separate portions. This is going to be my protein source for my dinner. And then on the side, I was just doing some cauliflower, I believe. Maybe. Where's the clip? Maybe. It's coming. Okay. Cauliflower florets from Green Giant. You could do asparagus. You could do green beans. Anything that you want. I'm just seasoning with nutritional yeast from Amazon, which is vegan, but it gives you like that cheesy flavor. It is so, so good. Pink Himalayan salt. And I believe that was all I seasoned those with. Um, those only took like three minutes to cook. And of course, even at that, they still got a bit burned. So keep your eye out for those. So I was just adding my vegetable intake into the preps and waiting for the sweet potatoes to finish. So once the sweet potatoes were done, I was basically just adding in those three portions. Um, and I only made three meals for dinner, again, just because I don't want anything to go bad. And sometimes I do take my son out to eat. So three meals is personally just like all I need. I'll have all of the ingredients, the pricing, everything listed in the description box. Please go ahead and check there, you guys. Feel free to double up any meals that you need to for your own family.